Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to increase the width and font size of your drop down lists. So this is a very common question in Excel. And in this example here, we have a sheet with some drop down lists. And of course, when we click this button here, that will display the drop down list and we can choose from this list of items. But the first common question that comes up is how do we make this list wider so that we can read some of these items? As you can see, they're kind of cut off here and we can't read the items. So the way to do that is to make the cell wider. This list here, the width of it is basically dependent on the width of the cell that uh, the data validation or dropdown list is in. So if we just make column C wider and then click the dropdown, we can see that we can now see all of these items here. And so one little quick tip with that is if you go over to your list, here's the source list, and you just find the widest item or the longest item that's creating this width, in this case it would be this item here, you can go back over to your dropdown list, select that item, and then you can double click the column width here to auto fit it, and that will ensure that the uh, dropdown list is wide enough to fit all of the items in the list. Now, one place where this can be an issue is if you have uh, multiple columns underneath your list. So on this quotation sheet here, I have an example of that. And here we are uh, selecting a customer from this list. And as you can see, some of the customer names are much longer. Now, if we were to make this column wider here, that would also make all of these columns below wider. And we might not want that. So there is a workaround for this. So I'm first going to just undo that. And what we can do is use the merge and center feature to merge multiple cells. So what I mean by that is I'm going to select this cell here, B7, C7, and then I'll go ahead and select all the way to D7. And then on the home tab of the ribbon, we're going to click the merge and center button. And that's going to essentially really create one cell by merging all of those cells together. You'll see the drop down list over here, uh, but when you click off the cell and click back on it, the drop down list or drop down icon will appear to the right. Now we've also done a merge and center here, which puts the text in the center. You can uh, change the alignment to the left. So the text is back to the left here. And again, now when you click the drop down list, this list is going to be much wider here and we can easily read all of the items. So you might only need to really uh, merge and center two cells here or three cells or however many it is depending on the data above or below your dropdown list. And of course, you can still resize any of these columns. So if we do need to resize this column, this will still work, and the dropdown list will just be the width of those three columns. And I did just wanna quickly mention that I know a lot of people don't like Merge and Center because it can cause issues when you're doing copy and paste or running VBA macros, but in this case, it does work well. But if you really dislike Merge and Center, uh, let us know why in the comments below and we'll do a follow-up video on it. All right, so now let's take a look at how to increase the font size of the dropdown list. So by default here, as you can see, the font in the dropdown is a little bit smaller than the default font size uh, in Excel, which is this Calibri font size 11. And this can be difficult for some users to read. Now, unfortunately, there's no direct way to control the font size within the dropdown list and change it. The way you can change the font size is by changing the zoom level on the sheet. So currently this uh, sheet is just set at 100% zoom. Of course, we can see that and change that down here in the bottom right corner of the application window. And I'm just going to increase the zoom here. We'll increase it all the way up to 150%. And now if we look at the dropdown, we can see that the font size has increased as well. Still a little bit smaller than the font size within the cell here but it is larger and easier to read. You'll also notice that the width of the dropdown list increased beyond the size of the cell. And that just happens when you increase the zoom. Once we uh, set the zoom back to 100%, the width of the box will change as well. And you can do that by going down here uh, and hit the zoom. You can hold control and scroll your mouse wheel, or you can go to the view tab here and click 100% to get us back to 100%. And again, that's going to make the font size smaller and the width uh, back to the normal size. So it's, I should also just point out that the uh, font size within the cell here does not matter. So we, even if we were to make this much larger font size in this cell, 
uh, that's not going to change the font size within the drop-down list. So again, really the only way to do it there is to change the zoom level on the sheet. So I hope these tips have helped you. If you're new to creating drop-down lists, we have a separate video that explains that in more detail. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. We also have a free add-in called List Search that will help you search any data validation list. And when you open this window here, it just populates the drop-down list in this window with all the items in your list. And then of course, you can quickly search for those items and hit enter to input that in the cell. So it makes data entry very easy and it'll work on any drop-down list you have in any workbook. So I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions about this topic, please leave a comment below. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and also head over to excelcampus.com free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.